How much did I make at my first station? Well, let me show you. In May, my boss agreed to pay me $22,000 a year when he promoted me from part-time to full-time in May of 2007. And here is my federal W-2 from 2007. My gross revenue, meaning how much money I brought in, should be around $19,386.84, if not on the nose. I paid about $2,300 in federal taxes and just over $1,200 into federal Social Security, almost $300 into federal Medicare, and almost $600 in state income tax because Illinois has a state income tax. So this $19,000 was money from my part-time producer work in March, April, and partially May before I went full-time. Then, when I went full-time, I always got at least 10 hours of overtime a week, sometimes 20, depending upon what was going on. You all know my overtime story by now. And speaking of that, though, let's take a look at my tax return from the next year, 2008. There, you can definitely see the base of $22,000 and about $4,500 more in overtime. And again, I thought I was rich. I invested all of that extra money in a Roth IRA for retirement. And I talk more about what I did with that, how I did that, in a different video. Moving on now to NBC5 in Dallas-Fort Worth, where I made a lot more money. Again, it's a top five media market, so they had a lot more money to give than, of course, a medium or small market station. They offered me $58,000 to be a one-person band. And in fact, the station's first one-person band and told me during the interview that they would be looking to hire more and wanted my input and help with that as well as to be somebody who would help mentor them and train them. And as I told you in a previous video, I then asked for $4,000 more after Memphis increased its offer by $4,000. And again, Dallas immediately agreed, so I got $62,000 a year with the potential for anywhere between a 1.5% to 5% cost of living raise every year. Three meant that you were doing pretty well, and five meant that you were on fire, which, while doable, was rare. They gave me a 3% raise my second year, and I was happy with that. Now, the going rate for a reporter making it to Dallas is $75,000. And people ask me how I felt when I eventually learned of this one year into my job there. And I told them that I was fine with it because those who were getting $75,000 had two or three years more experience than I had. Dallas was their third or fourth station. Dallas was my second station which is rare for anybody to be able to say. So I was good with it. And I'm just as grateful for having had that job as I was when I actually had that job. Plus, when it comes to my salary there, I also joke with people that because it was my news director who recommended that I shave my head to be on the air because she wanted me to have a hipper, more urban look because besides news, I would also be covering quite a lot of food and nightlife, people ask me how I felt about all this. The truth is, I always felt more pressure to do good work in Dallas versus what I looked like. I was cool with shaving my head. And as you know by now, Dallas was willing to pay me and followed through on paying me almost three times what I was making in Springfield. So, obviously my hair wasn't making me a lot of money. Plus, my boss was right, it is a better look. So, bordering on giving you too much personal information in this video, <laughs> that's it for this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Just obviously not on hairstyling. But all right, so I'll see you in the next video.